Okay, it's hard to see, I know, because I'm kind of zoomed out here. So let's zoom in. You'll see that that's what the site's going to look like. I can, uh, maybe I can make this a little bigger for you. Okay. So that's what, that's what the site, could, that's what the text box will look like on the home page. And then I can put other text box on the other pages. Now, he uses static text and dynamic text. So like on the contact page, what he does is he has the contact information. So you say, click here. Let's see here. It says, you know, some company, right? Highlight the text. Change it to Arial. Change the size down, way down. Okay, some company, and then some company address, and then city, state, that kind of stuff. And you can see the text box grows as you type in the stuff. So uh, I'll zoom in a little bit here. So the size of this font right now is Arial 14. Um, I haven't said anything special with it. Let's see here. So some company name. He does one, two, three, company address, street, right, address, city, state, um, the zip code, phone, phones, fax. This is where this information would go on your site. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's see here. So now that's static text, right? He also puts in a, uh, a web link. So let's say you have your website, right? So I'll hit enter, 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 go up here and say, let's pretend this is my site, www.mysite.com, right? Then you can highlight this, and then you can go down into your window and put the target link here. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.yahoo.com, right? Target it in a, um, I'm going to put in, uh, in a blank, target equals underscore blank will open a new window if somebody clicks on that link. If you put um, self, it'll change your own website. So and if you put blank, it'll open a new window for a new website. So anyway, now I have a hyperlink here. And the only way I can tell that is if I highlight it, I can see the hyperlink. But the other text is not a hyperlink. And I've got my contact information. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put some information on the different pages. Okay. So home, you know. Here, obviously, I'm going to have something like, you know, welcome to my Yellowstone winter trip. Welcome to my Yellowstone winter trip web site. Okay. And I could probably make this white text. Okay. And so now, if I collapse this, you see that this is what the site's going to look like. Everything is going to come in. This will come in. This will be the home page, about us, gallery, and contact information. So now I have text on each one of these keyframes. Well, I don't have. Um, I have some text there, just the title but I need to put text on each one. 
he also puts some images on his. So um, I want you guys to do the same thing. Put your frame labels and put your text on each page. Put some content. Um, you can make more than four pages. In other words, if I want to make another page, all I do is insert another keyframe here. I'm going to insert, a, let's say, a keyframe here, F6, right? And then put a keyframe here, F6, right? And I could put, um, you know, new information there. So I could go up here and type, let's see, frame label for um, video, okay? So that could be some, a video piece right here, okay? So I've got video, and then right here I would just change this information to video, and then of course my text, I could say, you know, watch some videos, right? So now, I've got some text that says watch some video and video on this keyframe and a frame label called video. So now I'm, my site would have five pages, right? Home, about, gallery, contact information, and video. All right? And so this whole thing could be quite nice, and uh, I've got a few pages. All right, that's it for right now. What I need you guys to do is lay out your frame labels and put some text on each page. Also, he puts image. If you want to put an image, that'd be great. Lay it out for your site.